Hello Creative Critters to this uh, little introduction movie or tutorial if you wish. Uh, one of the main features in programs like Adobe Photoshop are layers. Ever since this feature was introduced in Adobe Photoshop 3.0 back in 1994, it has been loved by many users and considered an essential feature. Uh, you can best see layers like shoebox dioramas. Remember back in the days when Kids made a little shoebox with a little hole that you can look through and see an entire scene. All those little cutouts together, that actually was that scene, it was not the solid thing. A layer is pretty much that. To make things a bit clear, I made a 3D scene of the photo we're going to use in this tutorial to see what a layer is. Uh, when you look in front, you see this meerkat driving over the road and when you turn the scene a little bit, you can see it's actually multiple segments. You might also notice that the layer with the meerkat is not a square photo. This is because of a so-called mask. We will uh, talk about this a little bit later in the, the video as well. You can um, apply masks to layers and that's the way you can decide to show or what you cannot show. This is the original photo. This is the photo with the mask applied to it. And this is the layer mask. As you can see, the black area is invisible and the white area is not. All of this together results in a layer where you decide what you can show or hide. And here you see all the layers come together. But in the undying words of Billy May, but wait, there's more. Besides the layer mask, you have layer effects as well. They provide a handy dandy little toolbox with all sorts of effects. Some examples are bevel and emboss, stroke, inner shadow, inner glow, satin, gradient overlay, pattern overlay, and drop shadow. Now, where can you find so-called layers? First of all, you need to have a document open in Photoshop. Do not forget to have the layer window open as well. By default it is, but if you don't see it, you can click a window and a layer right here, so the layer window will appear. Uh, or you can press the F7 button. After you have done this, you can create layers in various ways. You can either click on a layer, new, and you see layer right here. Or you can click on the new uh, layer wind, uh, icon right here. Or you can use the three stripes right here and click on there and go for new layer. What you see here as well is new group, which is basically a folder for if you have more than just one layer. After all, as you can see here, I got a whole bunch of them. If you copy and paste anything in your document, it becomes a new layer too. Or when you use things like the text tool, if you press uh, T and you start to type, it will form a new layer. In order to make a new mask, you uh, click on the layer and we are just going to copy and paste something in, like uh, here. We have uh, Mr. Harold. I select his eyes and mouth right here. I click on copy and then I go back to on the road again and I select the top layer because if you paste something it will always appear on top of that layer. So I click paste and there's this little dialogue here for um, the color pattern, the profile. You can safely ignore this. We see here a photo of Harold and you can see the photo of Harold is a new layer. Now if we want to give this a layer mask we go to layer and we have layer mask. Either it says reveal all or hide all. It's basically exactly what it says. It's just the start position. In the end it makes no difference with the exception that one reveals all and the other hides all. 
So we say reveal all and we see it's all white because everything is set to a reveal. Now, in order to work on the layer, you can see if you select the layer itself here, you work on the layer itself. But if you want to work on the mask, you click here uh, on the mask in the layer window and see these little things around the corner that make sure that the layer is selected. Now with this, if we uh, select something black, as you can see, it disappears because that's part of the mask. And if we select white, it appears and you see that the things that were deleted, they do not appear at all. It's, it's all fine. Now, in order, uh, besides the layer here, uh, I showed you a couple of effects earlier, like what you can do. You can reach those effects by clicking on layer and you click on a layer style and you click any of the effects. If you click any of the effects, like for example, stroke, we see exactly, we see the stroke appear with uh, the various uh, options. We can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, but you see it contains all the options. Now, if we select uh, another one like drop shadow, um, it appears that it has the drop shadow. And let's see, if we say multiply or inner shadow here we click uh, inner glow all those options uh, should appear on top of each other you're not limited to one layer style and with these little things I just say experiment away if you click on ok later on you see with the layer that it shows effects stroke and inner shadow with the eyes you can either enable or disable one of the effects or disable the entire toolbox of effects and the same thing goes with the layers as well you can turn them on you can turn them off and and so on and yeah um, just go along and if you are uncertain of your progress if you are uncertain that you're going to destroy a couple of layers feel free to save and save often or use uh, edit on um, with uh, undo or step backwards it's it's all fine and step backwards by default it goes up to 30 steps back so the chance of you completely destroying your picture is minimum but in order to make totally sure you can save the photo uh, or the document under a different name and I mean hard drives are big enough these days so don't worry about that if you think this was a good video please leave a like and subscribe and even click that cute little bell thing and become part of the notification squad love you all you critters make it all worth it have a good one